Hi, my name is Fritz Huey. In this video, I'm going to integrate the Unity Ads 2.0 SDK into an Objective-C project. We are going to show a video ad, then reward the player for watching the ad. Before we integrate, we're going to create a new game project in the Unity Ads dashboard. Name your project and leave COPA compliance disabled unless your game specifically targets children under 13. This is an iOS game, so enable Apple App Store. If your game's not published, just click Enable and Continue. Now you'll see the unique game ID that we can use to initialize the SDK. Make sure to enable test mode so that your game project doesn't get flagged for fraud during testing. You can find test mode by selecting the project, select the platform, go to Settings, Override Client Test Mode, Force Test Mode, on. Next, you'll need to download the 2.0 SDK, then we can begin integration. Our demo project is very simple. It's a button that will show an ad, and if the video finishes playing, we'll reward the player with some coins. We can start the integration by dragging and dropping the Unity Ads framework into our project and copying it. Now, choose a view controller that you want to show ads. And in the header, import Unity Ads. Now we can make this view controller a Unity Ads delegate. And we can implement the four protocols here in the implementation. If you look in the header, the protocols will be listed, so we can just copy of those and paste them into our implementation here. Cool, at this point your project should compile, so we're ready to initialize the SDK. I'm going to initialize in view did load so that it initializes right away. So I'll do this with Unity Ads, initialize. Now here, you're going to need that game ID that was provided in the dashboard. So let's head over to the dashboard, can select the project and in details, copy. Now let's paste that as a string. And delegate is going to be self in this case. Now, let's set up our show ad button. We don't want the show ad button to show up right away. We want to have it show up when the SDK is finished initializing. So let's hide it by default in view did load. Now we can use one of the SDK callbacks to reveal it. Ready is called when a video is ready to begin playing. So the SDK is finished initializing and has begun to download a video. So let's reveal the button using this callback. Now that our button is revealed, let's have it show an ad. We'll use Unity Ads Show with the placement option to show a video. Placements can be found in your dashboard. If you select your game project, you'll notice there's two default placements. Video, which can be skipped after five seconds, and rewarded video, which cannot. In our case, let's just grab video for testing. So enter it as a string. And now you should be able to show a video. So let's launch our app. And we can see in the console that the SDK has finished launching. We see our button, so when we click it, we should see a test ad. This time, let's skip it and see if we got a reward. No reward, perfect. 
Now let's watch another ad. And this time we'll let the app finish. And cool, look, we have 10 coins. Uh, we were rewarded for watching the whole video. If you have any additional questions or feedback about this tutorial, please check out our forum, email us directly, or reach out on Twitter. We would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and thank you for using Unity Ads.